hi guys this is tech girl 007 i hope you're doing great so today i've come up with this video to um obviously remove the search bar as well as uh draw back onto the comments that i've been given on the similar videos as such which i had previously so you guys might complain that i've been talking too much or maybe the sound wasn't good like i apologize for that but however in terms of the talking too much sometimes even myself when i'm watching a video and i've got a problem i would like to know why this has happened and that's why i try to go and explain why it has happened in the first place all right and then in terms of the voice yes um guys i have actually bought a new mic i didn't realize that the voice was so bad on that because whenever i was trying to do a playback it was all fine and like um i don't know for some reason it was fine for me then when i started to ask my brother to like listen to this and see what you think about the voice and then he was like mm, yeah maybe you need to do something about it or something and then that's when i realized oh okay then um maybe there is something wrong with the voice all right so i went on and researched about some mics and obviously changed the current one that i was using uh, then i changed it to this one uh, if you guys want to know for me to like obviously do a review on this mic if you like it then um i would just comment on the section box below um, and also this video as you know it's a very similar video to a few of my other videos that I've made previously. However, people still had questions. Something wasn't clear. There were still gaps in the screen. It wasn't still uninstalling. So this has actually, your comments, your feedbacks have actually compelled me to come back and make another video on this topic. Because it has been so important on my channel and this has one of the most views um this topic on my channel so that's why i've come back to help you guys please don't complain that this is long or whatever i am gonna go over the first version i'm gonna go over the second version and i'm gonna then explain at the end why these happen and what you need to do and all that so yeah just please be patient if you don't want to like um follow me all the way through the video just maybe skip some parts or some things you know um otherwise uh, it's up to you and um please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as you know i am coming with a lot of videos every day obviously not every day every now and then to uh, solve you guys problems because i'm called the take girl so yeah i it makes it my responsibility actually for me to come over and uh, solve your questions and obviously if you do have a question don't forget to comment on this comment below on the um where you can obviously type some look the reason i make these videos is that I know some people who don't even know where to comment or I've just acro uh, came across um, someone just recently who called me and said um, do you know how to do this and I was like um, yeah if you're looking at that video if you're watching it there should be a description box which you need to click on the link that's provided and they're like oh but where is the description box see a lot of people don't even know so simple things such as um, description box so it's not everyone is genius with computers so please just just have patience you know and this is what it's all about technology sometimes can be very easy but for other people who are like for example elderly people someone who don't know much about technology um it would be really like you know uh probably just like a rocket science for them you know so just just bear with me it's just me sitting here doing all that hard work for you guys for you guys to you know get relief from all of your problems and for me to get feedback and obviously get delighted to see how i'm helping people and this way i may get some uh, subscribers back and like some likes back some comments obviously your feedbacks back is just a pleasure for me all right so nothing much just asking for some subscribers likes and shares i don't think it should it should take you much from your life will it all right guys so let's just get on to the video
thank you for listening to my conversation and i hope it wasn't boring for you guys as per title this will show you how to get rid of the search bar on top of your screen please just follow what i'm doing if the first method didn't work for you the video goes on and shows you other ways on how to get rid of it and hopefully it will help all right so the bar that we're talking about is this one at top of on the top of your screen so as you can see all right so to get rid of that you want to go on to the control panel and see on the screen on how to get there you have to go on to the windows button at the bottom of the screen which is on the left side and then write control panel and then go on to uninstall a program and in here on the top right hand side of the screen it gives you a search bar so you write in there web so as you can see in there it says web discovery that's what has given you the um, search bar so if you just right click on that and then press on uninstall and that should get rid of it for you all right so notice as soon as i press on yes it will delete everything all right so that's it for this bit and if it still hasn't helped you just keep on watching please okay guys so this is the second bit on how to get rid of the bar all right in here i'm going to be showing you guys on how to sort your programs which you've installed by the recent date okay so what you want to do is go on to here where it says install on and then if you press on the install on it will um, go by the numeric dates so um, uh, right now I'm um, meant to be on 2015 so that was the last time something must have got installed on my computer however the recent dates should be from 2018 so if you press on installed on option at the top of the screen that should sort it out for you okay so what happens next is where you have is where you have written bar and there you're gonna have to write some other words that is possible to find you the name of that search bar however on the other hand once you have actually um sorted your programs by date that can what in one way show you the recent um that can actually help you find that program as well because like obviously if you have recently installed a program and that bar has come with it because obviously it comes as a package and it just gets installed uh, on there automatically so what you can do is um just i don't know somehow just guess if it's that bar if you want to otherwise right on the top of the screen where you you've got the search bar i'm going to be showing you guys a few words on which you can type and uh, search for that bar all right so obviously the first one that i had tried was web and that worked for me because that was the one that was installed in my computer but in your case it might be different and as i'm typing on the screen just look for those words and write it on your search bar as well so this is on the uninstall uh, program page okay um, right so it might not show it for me because obviously i've already uninstalled it this is just for the tutorial purposes and yeah let's go ahead and i'll show you what are the words that you can actually use to get rid of it there's going to be quite a few words on there so bear with me and obviously try all of them and hopefully it will help you
okay so in this version i'm going to be showing you guys on how to remove this search bar a different way okay so you might see some watermark on top of the screen it's because i haven't bought this uh, recording program um the screen recording program okay so um let's go and see how we delete this search bar right so it's a search bar it's a google search bar you can change it to microsoft edge or internet explorer or google chrome whatever all right so at the bottom of the screen on the bottom right hand side you should see an up arrow like this if you hover over it it says it says show hidden icons all right so you press on that then on here you should see something like a big d which says web discover if you hover over it and then you want to right click on that okay so there's a couple of options in here first of all it says about web discovery which obviously you don't want it says task manager still you don't want and the third one it says let chromium run on the in the background look guys sometimes you might think that chromium is a virus okay fine if you think that is um uh, then then maybe because i don't think chromium is a virus it's a another type of uh, google chrome that's how i look at it anyway um you want to obviously untick that because you don't want chromium to run on your background if you didn't want to you click back on that and you go onto the web discovery and this time you want to remove this but bear in mind that this way it's not going to be removing it fully from your computer so you right click again and you say exit okay when you exit notice again that my web discovery on the top of the screen will just get removed without any gaps or anything so this is one way you can do it um, so that you don't get that white gap or black gap that you had or maybe some of my uh, viewers have complained that we get white gap or black gap this way um, you hopefully shouldn't get any gaps and if you do get a gap don't panic it's all right uh, you just need to restart your computer and I'll show you how you do that um, if you guys already don't know um, right so you press on exit and yep it's been removed on top of my screen now if you still have a gap in there or a white gap or a black box or whatever that is you want to go on to you want to go on to where it says uh, start so there's an icon on here on the left hand side uh, it's like a window icon so you click on there and you should see this icon which says power if you hover over it with your mouse and then you click on there and it'll give you some options say sleep shut down or restart you press restart and it should restart your computer and your gap and everything should all be gone by then all right so i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe like and share it and yeah again yet again if you still had problems if you still had issues just comment them i'll try to get to every comment individually uh, reply back to them as soon as i can just bear with me so don't forget to subscribe, like and share it. If my videos help you, please share them and like them. And um, subscribing is very important because currently I have around 11,000 subscribers. But hey guys, let's just help me because I help you um, just, you know, as a way of paying back to me if you wanted. Like um, just subscribe, click on that subscribe button and just press on the bell icon so you can get all my notifications of my new videos. Also, if you didn't know, I do have an Instagram page as well as a Facebook page, Instagram account and Facebook page. They're both called the Tech Girl 007. However, um, the Instagram page has got three L's but when you search for it you will find me differently because the icon that you can see on the display of my youtube channel is the same as on facebook and on the instagram account all right so the reason for that is because someone else has already got this name so i just had to 
you know um, just stay with that three L's because I just didn't know um, I just didn't know what else to put there so just to make it easier for you guys I just put three L's at the end of the girl and that's it um, yeah 